Hello students, welcome to Short Options classes. So in today's video, we have come to question number 26. So in today's video, we will solve question number 26 from question number 50. So first, we will start with question number 26. It is given to reach an economically efficient output level, the size of an excise tax imposed on a firm generating negative externality. So in question number 26, it is given to reach an economically efficient output level the size of excise tax imposed on a firm generating negative externality should be four options are given so we know it should be equals to the marginal damage which is difference between social marginal cost and firm's marginal cost so for question number 26 we know the right answer would be option 3 now we'll go to question number 27 in question number 27 it is given which among the following is reason for convergence exhibited by solo growth model so we have four options out of which we know this is mm, not right answer this is not right answer so the right answer would be declining marginal productivity of capital so for question number 27 the right answer would be option 2 now we'll go to the question number 28 so in question number 28 it is given which who among the following economics was not concerned with the problem of surplus labor so out of this we know Lewis, Narcy and Renis and Fay all of them were concerned with the problem of surplus so option 4 is the right answer now we'll go to the next question which is question number 29 in question number 29 it is given aggregate demand will be C plus I consumption function will be this aggregate supply will be C plus S and saving function will be this so for this we know mm, two then three then four then one two three four one so this is the right answer option four is the right answer now we'll go to the next question which is question number 30 which is the author of the book capital in the 21st century we know the author is piketty it's thomas piketty he gave capital in 21st century so now we'll go to the next question this is question number 31 life cycle hypothesis was you know was given by whom modigliani so it is modigliani tableau economica was given by whom it was given by quizne cash balance approach was given by marshall and finally organic composition of capital was given by karl marx so for this we know the right answer for this will be four three so four three Two, one. so 4 3 2 1 so option 2 is the right answer for question number 31 now we'll go to question number 32 in question number 32 it is given in the adjoining standard diagram to explain his Hicks trade cycle theory which of the following are true when the actual value of MPC and accelerated fall in the region C so when it falls in the region C we know there will be oscillation or cyclical fluctuation so now we'll go to question number 32 so in question number 33 it is given Harrod models growth growth which among the following production function best matches with the assumption of model we know the right answer would be option 1 that is Leontia production function now we'll go to question number 34 in question number 34 it is given in the Cobb Douglas production function Q equals to this alpha plus beta equals to greater than 1 then the share of labor would be what it will be alpha for question number 34 the right answer would be option 1 now we will come to next question that is question number 35 in question number 35 it is given a new Keynesian economics challenges with among the following school of thought regarding the full adaptability of a policy change in the part of economic agents so so we know the right answer would be both 1 and 2 now we will go to the next question question number 36 in question number 36 it is given who among the following developed the wage good model we know it is CN Vakil and PR Brahmanan they developed the wage good model now we'll come to the key property of aka model we have four options out of which we know the right option would be absence of diminishing return with respect to capital this is the right answer for question number 37 the right answer would be option 1 now we'll go to the next question that is question number 38 in Pacinetti's model of growth the interplay among which variable is crucial we know it will be profit rate distribution of income and economic growth this is the right answer in the next question it is given consider the following statement in relation to Karl Marx theory of profit rate profit rate depends directly on the value of organic composition of capital this is right profit rate depends directly on the value rate of exploitation this is also right but 
it is inversely related to organic composition of capital we know so for this reason we know only two is correct now we'll go to the next question that is question number 40 in question number 40 it is given we have to match this uh, yes adam smith gave extent of market jb say gave balance in supply and demand malthus gave state of offer production but ricardo did not give this so four is the right answer which among the following is not correctly matched it is option four now we'll go to come to the next question which is question number 41 in question number 41 it is given which of the following statements are true for triangle model it was developed by new kensian model economics gs and it includes building inflammation yes this is also so it was developed by neo kensian and it was built in analysis now we'll come to the next question that is question number 42 with reference to Asian Development Bank, consider the following statement. United States had largest population of shares in the voting system and China and India have same percentage of shares of for voting system. So for, for those we know, all of them, both of them are wrong. So neither of them is right. So United States ha doesn't have the largest proportion of share in voting system and China and India doesn't have the same percentage of share for voting system. Now we'll come to question number 43. In question number 43, it is given which among the following will constitute foreign direct investment. Buying a company in the target country, yes. Expanding operation of an existing business in that country, yes. This is also right. So option both A and 2, 1 and 2, both are right. Now we'll go to the next question. That is question number 47. In question number 47, it is given which of the following areas given below is mainly funded by international development agencies. We know except environmental friendly project all of them are right so one two four that is option one is the right answer now we'll go to question number 45 in question number 45 it is given who two or more countries enter when two or more country enter into an agreement to eliminate import quota tariff and promote trade among themselves such a group of countries are said to form four options are given out of which we know the right answer would be free trade area now we'll come to the next question that is question number 46 in question number 46 it is given which among the following are true for real effective exchange rate of the currency of a country so we know it is weighted average of value of credit currency this is right and it is adjusted for interest inflation rate of prices so both one and two are right now we'll go to the next question that is question number 47 in question number 47 it is given during the episode of Sustained fall in crude oil price during the year 2015 which among the following best describes the pricing strategy of OPEC countries. We know out of this the right answer for question number 47 would be option 3. Now we will go to the next question that is question number 48 which of the following statement is true for gravity model to explain trade. We know that is 1, 2, 3 all of them are right. All of the above are true. Now we'll go to question number 49. For this, the right answer for offer curves. Countries have constant slope when terms of trade would be indeterminate. And in the context of Indian economy, which of the following ex correctly describe the composition of foreign exchange resources? We know SDRs, gold holdings of RBI and foreign currency assets. So in today's video, we'll solve until question number 50. In the last video, we'll solve count question number 51 to 75. We are doing just revision of the questions we have already done in the earlier video. So keep watching. If you have any query or doubt, you can simply WhatsApp me on this number, which is 9836-793076. Or you can also go to our website, which is www.showedofsearchclasses.com. There you will find a lot of other videos like this. And you will also get to see a lot of other materials which are needed for different entrance exam. So thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day ahead.